It's the crown of the avalanche that caused a fatality yesterday, April 14th. We're just looking at the snow here. What we had is uh, a couple days ago we had a pretty good storm. That's the snow right here. Initially it was about 12 foot and a half even. That settled down to about this much snow. There's a slight crust here. And then this is the snow that we had from about mid-March until mid-April. And it's formed a pretty good slab, about one finger to four fingers hardness. And it's got even more slabby just last week when we had some 100 mile an hour winds in this area. And then what that's sitting on is a layer of really small grain facets, about one millimeter in size. They've formed during our extended dry spell, lasting from about mid-February to mid-March. We just did an ECT and it just propagated right across and slipped right off like it was greased. This is the layer that allowed this avalanche, it allowed the fracture to propagate thousand feet that way and actually then trigger a few other slides over here sympathetically.